What's up everybody? Yeah, this is a little bit different. We are not at the usual setup and there's a reason why. This week's video was gonna be a mystery unboxing, but I'm deciding to hold off on those kinds of videos. But I kinda wanna experiment with different types of videos when it comes to unboxes. So this week is gonna be a little different. This is replacing the mystery unboxes for this week. And if you really enjoy those videos, don't worry, they'll be back soon, but they won't be on as often. So today I'm taking you guys with me so you guys can see the, the process of me purchasing uh, the product of the week. And we're gonna be going to Best Buy and we'll be there in the next scene. We couldn't find anything in this Best Buy. We're going to another one, but just really quick, I just found two phones. We found one outside, and then I found one inside next to other phones. I returned them, don't worry. I'm glad I returned them, and I hope they find the phones. But anyways, we're gonna go to another Best Buy. Let's go. I have no idea how this video's gonna come out. <laughs> you guys ever heard of Canes before? So if you haven't had cane, find a way to get it. It's one of the best chicken tenders you'll ever have in your life. And their cane sauce, it's it's to die for. They didn't work out with Best Buy, so now we're here at Walmart, and hopefully we can find something cool. I found some things here before. Uh, this is where I got the Iron Flash Cube, so let's see what they have. We've been on the search for a product, and we haven't found anything yet. We're gonna test out Marshalls right here. Hopefully they have something. Uh, but Best Buy kind of lacked on everything and so did Walmart, which is surprising, but let's see what Marshall has. We we have a couple contenders. We, we might do this one or uh, maybe this, but we're going to look around a little bit more and see what we got. All right, so I think we're going to do this one. Uh, we're about to go back to the studio so we can start unboxing it. And look. So a lot of people ask me, hey, how do you how do you know what to buy? Like like how do you choose products for your channel? And it's pretty easy. If it's cheap and it seems interesting or unique in any form of way, I'm gonna get it. Like this one, I picked it up at Marshalls like you just saw. And when I find something in store, what tends to happen is that sometimes there's just really big price differences between the online and the in-store product. Also, that's me right there. For today's video, kind of take it as, does this product suck? And also figure out if it's worth your money. Let's check it out. And we're back home. This is home. Welcome back. I know I didn't really explain what it is, so. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's a lot different from what you've ever seen on this channel, and I've actually really enjoyed it. So if you guys liked it at any point and you guys want to see more of it, uh, let me know, because I'm willing to make more of those because they're a lot more fun than me just sitting down and you know, unboxing something, which is what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm trying to do more than just, you know, what everybody else does. But anyway, oh, instructions. There's instructions right away. I kind of saw this opened already at the store. Not all of it, just a little open. So it comes pre-assembled, which is nice because this company used to make one you had to make yourself. You had to use glue and tape and I don't know, whatever you, whatever you had around the house in order to put it together. But this one is pre-assembled and I know all you have to put is the lens itself. Oh. So really quick, I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble it. It's pre-assembled, I know I said that before, but you also need to move and alter a little bit of other things. So really quick, here it is. This is the projector. Mine came a little broken. As you can see right there, it looks a little messed up. It's not gonna do anything. This is pretty much just for looks. This tube right here goes in this hole. In order to hold this tube in that hole, you use these two rubber bands. You put one on the outside and you place it in and then you grab the other one and from the inside of the box, you place it in there and it'll hold it together. Just like that. Put it through into the box. Oh. 
and you place it on the outside of this tube and you place it all the way back until it's held on there pretty tight. And it's actually really sturdy. I thought it was gonna be a little bit loose, but it's not, so that's a good thing. This is your lens, it comes with it. When you place this in, the lens is actually curved on one side and flat on the other. So make sure the curved end is facing outwards. That's how you get the best picture. Also, it comes with this, which is a rubber mat that goes in the back so your phone doesn't slip down because it is cardboard and it will slip. So you use this in order to keep your phone stuck on there. It's extremely sticky. You can see right here. So you place this on the back of the projector right here because your phone will be placed there. This is reusable, it's actually really cool. You just simply wash it and that's it. This is pretty difficult to place. Really cool thing about this, it has these ports so you can put in like an earphone jack or a charger while you're charging your phone so you don't have to worry about having your phone in there without charging it and it dies on you. You will always have access to plug it in and close it up. So now the real test is how does this project on this simple lens as you can see right here? So yes, this looks really cool. I really like the looks of this whole thing. It has really nice vintage look like I just said. That doesn't matter, right? When this thing sucks. So let's put that to the test. All right, so I've been testing it out because I wanted to show you guys how it actually looks like and it's really cool. But you have to keep in mind, your room has to be extremely dark. And one thing, your eyes will adjust to it. You're gonna put it up and be like, whoa, it's a little bit too, too, too dark for me but you have to just adjust to it. It takes a while, but it's actually really, really cool. When you think about it, it's cardboard and a magnifying glass, and it does this. So we put it to its test. We did what it's meant to do, and it's not much. You're just supposed to project your phone. But after testing it and coming to a conclusion, I have to say that this is not the best, but it is cool. Meaning that this is more of a novelty than an actual investment. Like I said before, this is $33 on Amazon, and it's $13 at Marshalls. So if you're able to pick it up at Marshalls, or if you're lucky to pick it up in any store, which is less than $33, I would recommend buying it for fun. This is a really cool thing to have. And I do think it's not worth $33 so if you're gonna buy this make sure you're willing to spend that money for this when you place your phone in here You actually have to have your screen facing upside down meaning that the video that you're actually projecting is upside down So it flips around with this glass on the box There's instructions for Android and iOS so you can read them up on there Also while projecting you need this on a white smooth flat surface because that's how you get the best images The brightness on this thing depends on your phone brightness So you have to turn it up all the way and sometimes that doesn't do justice it still comes out a little dim, and that's where you need your room to be completely dark. I do recommend watching vibrant colored videos because it will come out a lot better. And for my last complaint is that that sticky pad is sometimes so sticky when you try to rearrange your phone, you're accidentally going to pick it up most of the time. So it's kind of annoying to be having to be placing it back where you initially put it. So that's kind of a bad thing, but it does work as a sticky pad. I don't think it's worth the $33. I do think it's worth $13. So yes, I do recommend this if you're able to find it for a cheaper price. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, leave a like. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog style too, because I really enjoyed making that. And if you guys want more of that, let me know because I'm up to give you guys more of that content. But anyways, my name is M. Cole. This is The Modest Box, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And my last complaint, it has to be that that sticky pad that it comes with is extremely sticky. <laughs> extremely so its name because it's extremely that it, because it's extremely worse. It sometimes it gets annoying. Sometimes it's annoying because because it is ext is extremely <laughs> extremely sticky. It's extremely extremely sticky. It's annoying sometimes with is.